Well, we are officially one step closer to the iPhone 14 being real. Apple sent out invites for a September 7th event, and it's likely they're gonna announce the next iPhone, AKA the heavily rumored iPhone 14. Now there are a bunch of improvements and fixes I'm hoping to see for the next iPhone, but first we, we gotta talk about this invite because there could be a couple of uh, clues that we might be having about the next iPhone. The invite is a photo of the Apple logo against a background with glittery star-like things there, and the tagline is far out. So could this be a hint that the iPhone 14 might be getting a longer telephoto lens for some far out photos or a new astronomy mode for some far out astronomy photos or maybe the colors of the stars or sparkly particles are a nod to some of the colors and finishes that we might see on the next iPhone 14. Well, we're gonna find out soon, but I wanna focus on some features and some fixes that I'm hoping Apple will apply for the next iPhone. So here is my iPhone 14 wish list. Now first, I wanna dismiss some common Apple tropes for the iPhone 14, like removing the notch or an in-screen fingerprint reader. Okay, obviously a iPhone without a notch is something I think pretty much everybody wants. And once Apple is able to get there, I'm gonna guess they're gonna push that iPhone out as soon as they can. And in terms of an underscreen fingerprint reader, I still haven't really used one on a phone that's great. Now there are some really good ones, but as far as fingerprint readers, I prefer one on the side and, or I prefer Face ID, which I think is excellent. You can come at me, but I do. There's also rumors about things like there won't be an iPhone 14 mini, and instead there's gonna be an iPhone 14 Max or iPhone 14 Plus meaning a non-pro iPhone with a big screen. There's also rumors about a, uh, the processors getting split up, so pro models get a new one, and non-pro models stick with the A15 Bionic that's in the iPhone 13 series. Whew. But here are things that I really, truly believe, features I wanna see on the iPhone 14, and the first thing I wanna see is faster charging. Right now, I can use a USB-C to lightning cable and a 20 watt wall charger to charge the iPhone 13 and all its models. The battery can go from zero to 50% in about 30 minutes, but there are phones right now, like the OnePlus 10 Pro that support 65 watt fast charging. And that's just in the US. In other parts of the world, the 10 Pro can support 80 watt fast charging. That's four times more than what Apple supports. More watts does not necessarily translate identical to charging speeds. The 80 watt charging is capable of fully charging the OnePlus 10 Pro in half an hour. Imagine being able to recharge your iPhone's battery that fast. Yeah, pretty nice, right? Now another feature I hope to see on the iPhone 14 is a longer zoom lens. Over the past few years, Apple has increased the focal length of the telephoto lens on the Pro models. We went from 2X optical zoom on the 11 Pro to 2.5 times optical zoom on the 12 Pro and three times optical zoom on the 13 Pro. But on the Android side of things, we have Samsung and it's S22 Ultra, which has dual telephoto cameras, one with a three times optical zoom lens and the other with 10 times optical zoom. And then there's the upcoming Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV that has a telephoto camera with lens elements that actually move, giving you optical zoom anywhere between 3.5 times and 5.2 times magnification. Now, while the three times optical zoom on the 13 Pro is great for portraits, I can only imagine what Apple could do with a longer telephoto lens like the one on the Sony phone that adjusts, and maybe that's what the far out and the Apple event invite is referenced to, right? How far out would that be? Obviously, we're gonna know for certain on September 7th, and make sure you're subscribed to all things CNET so you can get our full coverage, and of course, the reviews once we get our hands on the new iPhone. But let's talk about a feature I wanna see in that new iPhone, and that's gonna be improved MagSafe. 
MagSafe charging debuted with the iPhone 12 and essentially combines Qi wireless charging and magnets. So the idea is that those magnets help make sure that when you put a wireless charger on the back of your phone, that it's ideally placed and gets the most efficient charge. Pretty good, huh? But I'd like to see MagSafe with a couple of additions. First, faster charging. Currently, MagSafe tops out at 15 watts, but there are phones like that OnePlus 10 Pro I mentioned that support up to 50 watt wireless charging. I'd also like to see more MagSafe accessories. Right now we have two kinds of accessories. Those that are officially supported by Apple called MagSafe and those that are magnetic and work with MagSafe in most ways, but are not officially stamped MagSafe. Confusing? Absolutely. But what if Apple were able to bring on more companies, more third parties to support developing MagSafe official accessories? Imagine the innovation we might see. Imagine the different form factors for holders and chargers that we don't currently have for the next iPhone. Now, another feature I wanna talk about for the iPhone 14 is a better selfie camera. Right now, the iPhone 13 series has a front-facing camera with a 12 megapixel sensor and an f2.2 aperture lens. Selfies and videos from the camera are pretty good, but they're still a step down from the main camera on the back of the iPhone 13 and definitely the iPhone 13 Pro. As video chatting has become more the norm, I'd like to see the iPhone 14 get a solid upgrade to its front-facing camera. That takes it from good to great. And speaking of going from good to great, let's talk about large screen iPhone support. So if rumors about Apple having not just one large screen phone, but two this year are true, there's gotta be some changes to iOS. So if there's gonna be an iPhone 14 Pro Max and an iPhone 14 Max, the software needs to support these bigger screens better. In fact, Apple doesn't have to look that far for inspiration. There's lots of great features for the iPad, think iPad mini, that could translate so well to a large screen iPhone, including things like multitasking, side-by-side -side windows, be able to swipe between them windows, as well as things like Apple Pencil support. Bring Apple Pencil support to the iPhone 14 Pro Max and iPhone 14 Max, please. Or, or just something simple like the ability to rotate the home screen between portrait and landscape. Currently on the iPhone, if I go from vertical to landscape, all the apps on the home screen are still in vertical. And I have to twist my head this way. On an iPad, if I do the same thing, all the apps adjust between landscape and portrait, no problem. Obviously, whatever features Apple rolls out for the iPhone 14 series have already been designed and in the works for a long time. But we're gonna know everything about the new iPhone very, very soon. But here's what I wanna know from you guys. Let me know in the comments what features you want on the next iPhone. What do you think it really needs? Like maybe an improved cinematic mode? Wouldn't that be great? Also, we do these videos covering Apple stuff every week. What topics do you want us to cover? Do you have questions you want us to answer? throw your thoughts in the comments. Last, thank you so much for watching this video.